Yes, so, sir. hey guys, it's, it's your boy, the sports, sports gaming, guys. gaming guys, and I'm starting my Baylor Dynasty, and if you're wondering why I chose the Baylor Bears, well, I like their explosive offense, and I like how RG3 can run the ball or throw the ball, I have a nice option there. We will start off this season against the number 14, TCU on Rocks. And so the Bears, there, as you see RG3 there, the Bears are fired up for their opener. And as, you, as you're about to see here, a lot of fans have the 10 jersey on and they are excited for this game against the number 14, TCU on Frogs. And so, ready? And here come the Bears! The Bears charging out of the tunnel. Is TCU getting booed as they come out of the tunnel? And RG3 getting his team fired up for their first game of the 2012 season. So, TCU, really excited. Same as Excise Baylor stretching it out. They got their star running back on Case here. He is 5'9", 200. And he is a junior from Henderson, Texas. So here we go. Here's the little intro with the Nissan. Game sponsored by Nissan. And the coin toss. TCU is going to call heads. They get it right. They're going to kick. Baylor's going to defend. And so Baylor will receive the kickoff. So here we go. Baylor, after a four-yard gain on the first play, snaps it. RG3 sits back, fires, and throws first down. Baylor. They won't do anything on the drive. TCU will get the ball back. TCU sits back, fires, throw over the middle. He got it. First down, TCU. Nice throw there. TCU marching down the field. It's now first and ten for the TCU Horn Frogs. TCU sets back, throws screen, and it's going to pick up a big first down down the sideline, and he is going to get pushed out of bounds, but a first down for the Horn Frogs. They're going to keep marching down this field. The Baylor Bears trying to get a stop. Will they do it? Slip screen here. He's going to get into the end zone. No! Baylor's going to stop him at the one-yard line. So very close play there. Almost gets into the end zone. TCU throws. Touchdown. Horn Frogs. Seven to nothing. TCU falls in. TCU takes a seven nothing lead. The tight end. Kind of stays in the middle as the Horned Frog is side there. Calls the ball. He gets it. So Baylor's going to have to dig themselves out of this hole. So over the middle. Oh, it's picked off. TCU has great field position. A little under the 40-yard line. I'd say about the 38-yard line. A third and 13. Baylor defense looking for a big stop here. No. The cornerback. Look. Gets beat, looks for the help from the safety. Well, guess what? He's not going to get it, as you see the replay there. So TCU is going to jump out to a 14 to nothing lead. So that will end the first quarter. Baylor is down 14 to nothing. Fourteen nothing Baylor down. It's the end of the first quarter. You see coach not happy there. Upset. So RG3 trying to get something going. He's gonna fake the handoff and little frozen freeze in the game there. Oh, but he fumbles. Picked up by TCU. And the freeze and he is going to take it all the way. For the score, so TCU gets capitalizes off the RG3 fumble, and the PAT goes up and in, so it's 21 to nothing. TCU leads the Bears. TCU gets the ball back again, and it's picked off. Picked off by Baylor. So they're going to come the other way. They got some good field position. They're going to go for it on fourth and two, pounce it up the middle, and first down. Second quarter. 
and they're not going to get anything. They do m miss a field goal there, so TC is going to come back. And he gets hit. Fumble! Baylor recovers the fumble, and once again, they have great field position for what TCU gave them. They will not capitalize, but they do get the ball back after TCU goes three and out over the middle. And it's a nice catch, first down, Baylor! They're trailing 21 to 3 after they hit the field goal before. And so, up the middle, he got it! Touchdown, Baylor! So, 21 to 10, TCU leading the Baylor Bears. Third and one for TCU. Baylor's bring the blitz, and he's got a man, he throws it, and it's, he's wide open. Tackled around the 29-yard line for a first down TCU. That's a rally killer. Baylor gets going, often defense gets a stop, and TCU's going to march down the field for the field goal. 24 to 10, TCU leading the Bears. RG3, second and 10, back in the pocket, throws, first down. He is saying, do not count uh, us out. So Baylor trying to fire themselves up. Throws. There's an eight yard pickup over the middle. This will be a shorter video. You guys should watch episode one, episode two, episode three, then this. Second and two. Baylor fires. Got a man. And he's going to get out of bounds. First down. And uh, fake it off. Throws the middle touchdown, Baylor. Fires over the middle for a first down. RG three get Baylor gets the ball back and oh, I'm sorry to tell you, I could not capture a kick return by. TCU, they return the touchdown. They return the kickoff for a touchdown after that. So Baylor's going to come back, trying to just get a score, get, and then quickly get the ball back, get a chance to at least tie up the game. And it's second and three in the fourth quarter with 2.10 remaining. RG3 throws. No, it's tipped. So it's third and three for Baylor. Throws and he tips it. Fourth and three now for Baylor. This could be the game, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Griffin the third coming up. Here we go. He takes. He sends a man in motion. He takes the snap. Fake hand off. Throws over the middle and is batted down. And this game is over as TCU runs out the final seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, TCU wins it by a final score of 31 to 17. Baylor had their chances. TCU turned over the ball. It was not a perfect game by the Longhorn by the Horn Frogs. So they did turn the ball over a couple of times, but Baylor cannot capitalize off that. And so Baylor's going to fall to 0-1 on the season, and TCU is going to be 1-0 this year. So, um, here he goes. So the TCU fans are fired up as they start their season off on a winning note. And the Baylor fans are not happy after, after they go oh, start their season off 0-1. It's a tough, win, tough loss to swallow for RG3, knowing he did not have a great game. And he will try to look to, in, in, to make himself better and increase his skill for the next game. So, and you see the rival game win rivalry game winners were TCU Horn Frogs. And this is the sports gaming guys. I'm just saying so long guys. We'll see you next time on this